Okay, on this episode of Death by Bungie, I'm going to show you some tips about recording good audio for your hunting videos. I've been working on a series of videos here to sort of give you some tips and tricks that I've picked up as I've been recording my own hunts this last season of Death by Bungie, as well as uh, some of the stuff that I did before that. I've covered some other videos about how to focus your hunting videos, what choice of camera do you use, showed you how to build that little camera clamp that I use. But the big thing is on this one is audio. If you do anything with video, you'll realize pretty quickly that bad audio really ruins a good hunting video. It ruins a hunting video, it ruins everything else. If you look back at my old hunts, there are countless examples. Uh, my turkey video, my spring gobbler, uh, my first crossbow buck, my uh, anything that I was using with the DSLR before I got the Rode Video Mic Pro. The audio in those things is terrible. So I've done a few things that really work. And I want to sort of cover that in this video here to give you a sort of some tips in case you're having those same problems. There are three types of cameras that you might be using here when you're filming your own hunts. The video camera, the, t the DSLR or mirrorless camera like the one I use. Um, this is a T5i, the Canon T5i DSLR. Or the GoPro type camera, those action type cameras. Now, of those three types of cameras, all of them have microphones built in. You might even be using your cell phone. That's got a microphone built in. But across the board, those cameras, the built-in audio is going to be bad. The reason for that, first of all, is it's closer to you. It's going to pick up your breathing. It's going to pick up your hands fidgeting with the camera. And it's not going to pick up what you're filming, which is 20 yards away, 30 yards away. So, what I've done is I purchased, first of all, I'll talk to you about the Rode Video Mic Pro that's mounted on top of my DSLR. I love that microphone. The batteries seem to last a long time. The lights will turn and let you know ahead of time when the battery's getting low. Throw another nine volt battery in your bag and you're good to go. You got plenty of backup. I like that microphone for outdoor filming because it picks up the ambience. It picks up the wild track. It picks up all the birds chirping, the crows cawing, and it picks up the compressor station in the distance now it picks up traffic going up and down the road what have you but it gives you a realistic feel plus it picks up my words and my audio extremely well the nice thing about that for us DSLR people is that DSLRs have probably the worst audio of all of those video those three camera options uh, because they've got those built-in preamps that create a whole bunch of hiss trying to amplify the signal what I can do there's plenty of videos about this on YouTube I won't go into great detail but on this Canon T5i I've got the audio uh, preamps turned all the way down it's one click above off like it's barely on then with this Rode VideoMic Pro, I've got a 20 decibel boost that I can click, a little switch on the back of it, so it's boosting the signal that goes into the camera. Now I've got that low noise sound that is totally usable. It's awesome. That microphone is one option. You plug that in. You can plug it into your video camera, your DSLR or mirrorless camera, or you can plug it directly into your GoPro if you get the little adapter, and then you're good to go. You're going to have better audio across the board. That's number one. The second option, the only time I don't really like that mic is if I'm indoors, if I'm in front of a green screen doing an interview or something like that, you do tend to get a lot of the room reflection uh, as your voice bounces around off those walls. And that's not necessarily preferable. You might not want that in your videos. So to avoid that, I use a lapel microphone. And I have an Audio Technica lapel microphone. I have one right on here. I'll show you what it looks like. It's just this little guy. It's an Audio Technica, uh, the Audio Technica, I don't even know the model. I have an adapter for it that plugs it into my phone so I can plug headphones into my phone so I can plug this into my phone, monitor the audio using my phone. I have an app that I will put, I'll put all the links to all this stuff in the description, but I'm using AudioRec, the free app 
to record with. But I just clip this down here, and generally speaking, it works fine. The levels on the phone, you can check those levels. You can even with the little adapter, uh, it's the SC6, I think it is, from Rode. I'll plug, I'll put uh, some notes in the description for that as well. And you can just sort of plug in your headphones and monitor it if you so choose. I do it visually just to make sure it's not peaking, it's not going into the red on the phone, and it tends to be just fine. But essentially, that's the other option for you, is the lapel microphone. If you're doing interviews and you want your voice to be first and foremost in the track, that's the microphone to use. Both of these options are better options, in my opinion, than using the onboard microphone from any of these cameras. Death by Bungie. You're probably going to want a lapel microphone to plug into that GoPro to do your interviews, or at least some external microphone. Those microphones Make sure you're using the skeleton housing that has the holes in it to allow the sound to get into it at a minimum. But that way, if you've got that skeleton housing, you can still plug one of the adapters in and then run that adapter to a jack to a microphone and have a separate mic. The last option I would say for the GoPro is um, they make, GoPro I think even sells this, but there's probably some knockoff versions of it on eBay as well that you could check into. But they make a little microphone that basically just plugs into it that uh, sticks out there. I'll try and find one of those, an example of that, and put a link to that as well. But basically we'll put that on there. Uh, you plug that in and then you would have basically an external microphone without all the wires and cords for your GoPro. But look for the external audio. I will tell you that that's just one of those things that really makes your hunting videos a little bit better. Number one, people don't want to struggle to hear what you have to say. I've had to do subtitles before on things and uh, people don't want to look and read subtitles. It, it draws your eye away from the action on the screen, so it's distracting. Um, I love foreign films. I got no problem watching foreign films. Um, but the problem with that is, is you know, you're, you got subtitles and <laughs> it does distract you from the overall uh, enjoyment of the video. So um, if you can avoid that, get good audio. Um, the two things that have worked for me are the Rode Video Mic Pro and having a lapel microphone for the inside stuff. Um, I hope you find that helpful. I hope that uh, this gives you some tips that are useful for your hunting videos. I hope you put them to good use. I hope you make some great hunting videos. If you do, make sure you share them with me either here on Death by Bungie or share them on the Facebook page. Check out Death by Bungie on Facebook if you haven't done so already uh, because I post a lot of little tips on there and, and some trail camera pictures. I look forward to seeing your hunting videos and until next time, all hail Bungie! Was hatching and latching and I grew up with Yamu Mom. Agnes and Lee did a number on me and this is where the zombies spawn. First of all, there's three types of cameras out there I've talked to you about before. Video cameras, the DSLR or mirrorless type cameras, uh, which is what I use. The Canon T5i is the one I use and I love the thing. Uh, and the third option, of course, is your GoPro. I'm recording some audio on my phone. My phone apparently just got a message.